But we know the North doesn't have any powerful soldiers like that, so let's just head back to the South. So we've checked all of these major towns. We checked there, we checked there, we checked there. These are just two quiet, small towns. And we checked, we checked, we checked all of them, basically, and there's nothing decent. 15 Goblin Raiders, we want to avoid that. The Wolf Riders can be quite nasty for throwers. We don't have enough uh, melee soldiers. 13 Goblin Raiders. 9 Orc Marauders. Don't want anything to do with me for some reason. Not complaining. Not going to get tangled up with Orc Warriors. 8 Goblin Raiders. Let's just come off the path. I would fight them, but it's night time. I would have fought those 8 Goblin Raiders, but it's night time. So our throwers will be ineffective. Oh, we've got a couple of levels. We've got a load of levels. How did that happen? Cult meat gets attack, defense, and health. Berserk. Shield mastery. He's quite a good attacker, so I reckon we go for berserk. No, I reckon we go for backstabber, and then that'll increase the odds of him being able to hit stuff in the head with flail. Do you want Headhunter? What does that do? Uh, connecting with your hit or missing your attack will reset the effect. So basically you always get the effect reset. Now let's go with Backstabber. So he's more likely to get Flail Headshots. Throw a Mark 1. Gets Attack. Fatigue. Initiative. Scott Berserk gets Executioner. Throw a Mark 5 gets Attack, Fatigue, Initiative. And he gets Nimble. Help keep him alive. Very good. Throw a Mark 5 is catching up. He's only level 7, but these guys are all only level 10 and 9s. So he's only 3 levels behind and he's up quick. He's doing good. <clears throat> Roger, I'll throw a Mark V. See if there's anything to do in Vardstead on the way back. Since it's on the way back. Got a one skull contract. A long way to the west. They still want us to find this bleached bloody bones tomb thingy. In Weltershire, about a day to the southwest. That's the first one, isn't it? Yeah, we can do that. We're going that way anyway. So if we're going that way anyway, let's pick it up. Three skull contract, presumably for hunt down what terrorizes. No, hunt down webnecks in the woods. For three skulls, 1400, not on your life. Especially with so many throwers, we could easily just end up with the position where our throwers are all in front and the spiders jump on them immediately and then bite them down and there's nothing I can do to save anyone. Gizba, 1300 crown... Wild man, no. The most I'll pay for a wild man is like 120, 200 maybe. I'm not paying fucking 1300 for a wild man with a spear. He'd have to be the best wild man on the planet. And you just don't know the odds. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get. The odds are against you. <laughs> not interested in caravan work. There's quite a few people for hire. Gunther the Feral, 540. See, he's half the price. Walter for 180. That's a good pickup. If he's good, he's probably shite. Oh, did we just find a new Bannerman? He's got 55 attack with one star in it. This guy's got 63 with one star in it. 
But this guy's got two stars in resolve. Yeah, I think we just found our new bannerman. 55 and 1, he'll be rolling twos on average. So he'll finish at about 75, 80 melee skill. Which isn't that good. But then the bannerman isn't supposed to have... It doesn't do a lot of damage anyway. He's supposed to have a lot of resolve. What's his range defense? Minus 2 and 2. What's this guy's? Oh, this guy's got minus 9 range defense. Yeah, I think we found... I think we just found a new bannerman. Sixty-three, fifty-five. So he's got eight melee skill more, but he is a level higher. So if this guy max rolled and got four, he'd only be four higher. And then his defense, his range defense is much better. Hit points are much better. Fatigue is much better. And resolve is going to be much better by the time it's maxed out. So everything is better about him apart from his hit chance. Oh, what's his initiative? One hundred and five. This guy's 106. Initiative's about the same. What's this? Loyal as well. Can't really do anything with this guy now. Okay, Walter. You're going to be Sergeant Walter. No, you're going to be Sergeant Butt Whip. And you're going to be our bannerman. Congratulations, Sergeant Butt Whip. Now, I have no idea what to do with you. Um... We've only spent one of his levels, and we gave him attack... Uh, resolve and fatigue, which isn't bad. I just, we just, I suggest we just make him a backline guy. Yeah, backliner. Who we we don't need at the moment is the only thing. How much are we paying him per day? Thirty a day. Jeez. Thing is, we want to level up our throwers first before we use him. We want to level. We want our throwers to be max level and sniper to be max level before we start taking them off and putting on backliners. Basically, we need to level these guys up as well. Uh, ninja and light tank we want to keep on the field. All the cultists we want to level up to level 11 so we get the aspect of Davkul. So these two boys need to stay on. Everyone who's on at the moment needs to stay on basically. So we've got this guy spare. I might just get rid of him. We, he's costing us 30 crowns per day. And he's not worth holding on to. He's not powerful enough. He's not that great. I mean, he's got decent stats, but no stars in any of the right places. He's just an average adventurous noble. Hmm. I can't really use him for anything. He doesn't really fit any roles is the problem. And he doesn't have the... And the thing is, he doesn't have the survivability of these guys. These guys are all worse. So you'd think I'd get rid of Sacrifice first, but... Sacrifices, for one thing, only paid six daily. And on top of that, he's got all the survivability perks. He just needs Nimble, which he's about to get. And then he's actually very survivable. Whereas this guy's got none of those stats. He could just die instantly if I put him in a frontline position. So he wouldn't make as good a tank as any of these. Again, Meaty Meat paid only six daily. Slug meat paid only nine daily. These three men cost me less per day than he costs me. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of him. Ugh, that was such a waste of money and time. That bannerman was so shit. That's really ir irritating. And there was one right here we could have picked up if we just checked there first on the way. Whatever. 
let's go. We just wasted 5,000 crowns, basically, on that inept uh, adventurous noble. That's the way the cookie crumbles in Battle Brothers. That's why you need to earn tons of crowns. So you can cycle through shit, tons of shit recruits. And uh, buy legendary equipment as well. Bloody caravan work. Follow the tracks. They're over here. Ugh, we lose loot some berries. During camp. Chase us, chase us over here. Chase us. And apparently we lost loose uh, roots and berries somehow chasing people. A few poachers, a marksman, and many raiders. So we want to attack them during the day, obviously. There we go. <clears throat> Since we have archer superiority... Ooh, there's 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, and the marksman is 11. So this is everything, boys. None of them have any shields, though, so we're just going to chop them down very quickly. You can wait, you can wait, you can wait, you can wait, you can wait. Right. So your only targets to go nuts. Finish him, please. Oh, it was the guy below I was aiming for. Whoops. Uh, come here, so he's locked down, but then this guy can still throw at him. Good. Good kill. Good kill. I don't think we need, uh, we can use javelin on this guy actually. I don't think we need throwing weapons again after this. Yeah, that should be it. No more throwing weapons now. It's nothing particularly threatening. I'd like the tier 3 flail, but there's nothing threatening about this battlefield anymore. Oi! Apart from the crossbow. Actually, I should pull them back, shouldn't I? So they're not a target. Last thing I need is an archer dying. Just because I was too lazy to pull them back in a fight that was too easy. Step there because you've got a shield. 
shit. I need to shut that crossbow down, actually. Come behind here. Oh, that almost shut it down. That definitely shut it down. Teach that fucker a lesson, crossbowing me. Mm, he still wants to fight. Shouldn't have panicked, mate. You'd been able to get away if you didn't if you weren't running. None of the weapons we got you get very much for, even if you repair them, so I'm not going to waste my time and tools repairing them. Just going to sell them straight on. Uh, I've mixed in with it anyway, so get rid of that and that. That, onto that. Onto that, onto that. Onto that, onto that. That, that, that. Onto that, onto that. Onto that, onto that, 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 onto that. All good, yeah? Very good. 218 for tools actually isn't bad. So we're going to buy two, four of them. And these are pretty cheap. 565. We sold them for 700 at one of the other pros. So we're going to pick those up. That's 200 crown profit on each we can make. We've got the money spare. So why not? And let's carry on heading. Did I check the people here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Let's head down to Newland. Sixteen brigands. Ooh, a leader. Some thugs, a few marksmen, some raiders, and a leader. That's a good opportunity to get some good weaponry. Uh, he's fine. He's just missing a tiny bit of health. You, I'm not sure I want to put on because as it says a few marksmen. So I think I'm going to take you off. Put slug meat on instead because I don't want you dying to... You don't have steel brow. You don't have anything. You could easily just go pew pew, two shots and you're dead. So I don't want that to happen. So we're going to take you off. Ninja gets attack, defense and initiative. Nimble. Which means we need to swap around some gear. We need to give him some nimble gear. That and that. What if he wears that? What's his nimble at? 53%. No, we definitely want this. 42%. Much better. Which means we've got a 150 coat, which can go to this guy. Which means we've got a spare 130 coat. Which no one needs because everyone's nimble, right? Cult meat, slug meat's nimble. Meaty meat can have it then. The reason why everyone's nimble is because nimble's the cheapest uh, defense you can get out of the two of them. Battle Forged is better, it's stronger, but it also means you have to pay ridiculous sums for incredibly heavy armor until it becomes effective. Whereas Nimble, you can just put them in a basic, cheap, lamina armor and give them loads of health and they're really powerful with Nimble. Have at them, boys. Wonder if the leader will have anything good. 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There'll be one in here, 15, and then the lead will make 16. But I don't. I think they'll come towards us like usual because uh, archer superiority is, is always a thing. But it's mainly thugs. There's nothing threatening there at all. There's the leader. He doesn't have any armor that I want particularly, but I do want that battle axe. Right, I want to start whittling down their numbers as soon as possible. This needs to die, definitely. This can die as well. He's going to stay... He's going to come up here and lock those two down. Whoops, I meant to throw it at this guy. I hit him anyway. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Good throwing, man. Good throwing. I'm impressed. Finish him off. You can stay up on your little perch. You can step to here and stab him in the face. Very good. And step to here and spear wall. Step to there. No, step up to here actually, because I don't mind them coming down here. And you can step up to here. No, step to here and attack. I don't want this guy being surrounded, so we're going to wait with him there on the high ground, see what they do. Light tank getting hit there, shouldn't have really happened. Oh, tried to protect his mate, did not work. Got gunned down. Could probably save all the javelins now. Uh, throwing weapons even. Save all the throwing weapons. Oi! These crossbows need to be destroyed. Let's kill this idiot a bit. Finish him and then lock the chief down. Good. Go and lock down the two crossbowers. Thank you. Beat him up. Step here. Finish him. Very nice. Throwers don't need to worry anymore because all the crossbows have been shut down. That's the last crossbow bolt. We're going to try and save his armor if we can, so get your daggers out and get ready with the net. Hopefully he'll be running away by the time we get to him. We slaughter all the rest of these guys. He should be running away by the time we get to him. Nope, he was completely immoved by that. This guy wasn't, though. Two shield hits, really.
Come on, man. You're supposed to have much higher attack than that. Shit, he might destroy the guy's shield, actually. That could be a problem. Need to kill these three as quickly as possible. First time he's defended, he knows we're about to descend upon him. Damn it, he's completely unwavering. He just does not care. His entire crew has been slaughtered and he's like, yeah, I'm whatever. I'm not swaying it that much. You're going to get daggered to death. Oh god, he destroyed the axe. He destroyed the shield. Not good. Move here. Get your dagger out. Do, do, do. Move here. Get your dagger out. Get your dagger out for the boys. Can start swinging now that there's a few more of us around him. The adjacency bonus. Start trying to damage him. Okay, he went after the guy with... Oh, there we go. There's one more level of um, fear. And there's the final one. Now he could dagger him down, no problem. We we lost a shield, but whatever. He's got quite a lot of life, actually. Oh, I should have daggered. I didn't realize I hadn't daggered him. Nine lives for him. Who is who's this? Don't want cult me getting the hit final hit. I want someone important. Someone I want to level up to get the final hit. Like, for example, light tank. Yeah, you can try and get it. Go for the final stab. Nope. Definitely Sir Kunibert the ninja can try and get it. He gets it. Good work. And he got 419 experience. He got 200 experience more than anyone else for killing the leader. Got a three-headed flail, a uh, three-headed tier three flail even, and a tier three fighting axe. As well as a 215 helm, kettle hats, and a 170 armor. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So the 170 armor goes to this guy now, right? Yeah. Uh, what's this helmet he's got? It's a 230. So this guy also gets the kettle helmet as well. Uh, you get that, and you also get a spare bag in your shield. A uh, spare shield in your bag. Cultist tank can carry the net. We want to repair that. Repair that. Uh, I guess you now get the 150 and you get the 130. No levels from that though, which is a bit of a shame. 
whatever. To new land. Three hundred and fifty one. No, that's quite expensive. That's how much you can sell them for. Any men for hire. Oh look, finally another adventurous noble. Four thousand. He might be a really good bannerman. Adventurous nobles tend to be really good in general. Do I want to spend four thousand on him though? I dunno. There was a cell sword down here. Wasn't there? There was a cell sword down here for 5,000. I might want to spend the 5,000 on him instead of the Adventurous Noble. Because we just got a decent bannerman. What are the contracts? Not interested. I'm all ears. How many crowns are we talking about for this? Sellendorf. We just came from Sellendorf. Uh, he's only just appeared, which means he's going to stick around for a while. Whereas the cell sword has been down here for ages so i think we'll go pick up the cell sword first and then come back and get the adventurous noble next because the cell sword is going to disappear first because he's been around for longer and they're both about the same price the cell sword came with better gear as well lost at sea again you fishermen aren't very good are you obtain forefathers standard the circle of the immortals we can do that, can't we, fellas? Ooh, 243. That is super cheap. It'll be even cheaper when we get back, though. So let's save on. Let's hold off for that. Okay, let's go do this. The old runaway trick. Come back. They'll be in high spirits. We can get that amber for even cheaper. Than 243, that is super cheap. Lots of ancient legionaries, everybody run. Okay, straight back to town. Nine hundred crowns are now in high spirits, which means this should be even cheaper. Two two eight. Oh yes, thank you very much. We need some ammunition and tools as well, don't we? 
Ammo, no, we'll get ammo from the other place that we usually get it. 672 is not great. So let's just come down here and get the cell sword who's down here. Hopefully he's still around. Poor Prince, not sure what they could be. Well, they could be anything, basically. Oh, no, they've got missing villagers, which means he's probably not going to be here anymore. Fuck. Oh, well, looks like we have to go get that adventurous noble. Hunt down with terrorizers. Yeah, let's do that. That'll get rid of the missing villagers. And there's a band of mercenaries. Just in case, just to be utter utterly safe. There's a band of military, a military band right here. Let's stick to that, and now we just do this ridiculously easily. All the throwers don't need to throw. We can just use the melee troops for this. Shouldn't be an issue. There's so many of us. Don't kill them out there, you idiots. You're going to get them all to be... You're giving them corpses to eat. Did I skip his turn? I must have skipped his turn. I, I did, yeah. Not that it matters. He goes, he's so quick now. He's got so much initiative, he goes much earlier than anyone else. How come none of them jumped on? Oh, that's why. They're waiting for the level two to do it. Fair enough. You boys going to get involved or what? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Stole my kill. Asshole.
Oh, this one ran away before he even got close to combat. say him out and try and get the kill good work oh bloody good Would eat my guy, wouldn't it? There's only one left and it's fleeing. Let's just round the place off. Easy peasy. Got some stuff to sell, not very much. No longer has disappearing villagers. Does that mean he's back? No. It still carries on with the same people. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How many crowns are we talking about? Wylashim for 870. That is not bad, although that's all the way in the north, isn't it? It's not this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's a bit far to go. Let's head to Krautmark, see if they have any work for us. For us. What the hell is this? 11 nomads, many outlaws and a few archers. Oh, he lost health from being swallowed. Actually, now the ninja's nimble. He can take the cultist tank stuff off. We sh he should have that. That's He's the more important guy. Since you're missing a tiny bit of health and damage, I'm going to take you off for sacrifice. Put sacrifice on. Yeah. Let's kill these idiots quickly. I want this sword. It sells for much, much gold. And the three-headed three -handed flail, that sells for much gold as well. You idiots better not charge and get in the way of my throwing weapons. 
Yeah, they did. Fucking annoying. Rotate this archer out. Gonna have to punch through this idiot. I don't care if I kill him. Shouldn't have got in the way. My throw is not doing a very good job. I'm not doing a very good job, actually. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Shit, he's just forgotten his... Got his skull crack. His helmet's gone. Oh, these fucking assholes. My throat. What my throat is doing. This is going to turn into a disaster if we're not careful. 69%. What are you doing? Why are you missing? Thank you. Shit, they're going to get that kill and I'm not going to get it. This is not good. Light tank surrounded. Archer, I'm going to have to risk the run. Fuck's sake, he needs to get out of there. Oh, that can kill it. That, that's good. You need to come here. You need to step up and fucking kill him. Come on. This is not going well at all. Lucky that missed the thrower. This rat light tank's being beaten to death by these fucking things. And my throwers just keep missing. What are you like? Yeah, light tank's going to die. I can't get him out. I have to double rotate with... Oh, Sacrifice doesn't have enough fatigue. Come, Bert. You can come back. You're going to have to double rotate. It might be too late, though. That was really stupid positioning Radwan there. Should have put him on the high ground. What was I thinking? Doesn't help that my guys can't hit fucking shit. I've got nomads are really hard to really hard to kill. Oh, this is such an annoying way to lose the light tank. Two seventy percent misses. Get your shield wall up, definitely. Why are you missing? What fucking 87% chances? They would both hit, wouldn't they? Fucking hell, this is just a nightmare.
fuck's sake, the light tank died. Now you decide to start hitting. We're going to lose the first thrower as well here if we're not careful. Can't believe we lost the light tank. That's such bullshit. Can't believe these guys got so many hits with those fucking flails. They did have him triple surrounded, to be fair. Uh, that's really disappointing. I'm really pissed off with myself for letting that happen. Almost lost Sky Duke as well here. Need to finish the fight, otherwise Sky Duke dies. I can't believe how much my throw has missed that as well. The amount that my throw has missed during this fight was just pathetic. Don't want Sky Duke to bleed to death. Ah, uh, the light tank got his head smashed in. How irritating. That really sucks. That shouldn't have happened. That was me not taking it seriously. That was all me not taking the fight seriously at all. Oh, that's just fucking irritating. That's the problem when you get complacent. If Bow Brothers gets too easy, you get complacent and then you just lose, lose a unit to, to a stupid fight that you shouldn't have lost a unit to at all. Oh, I'm so gutted about that. Really, really, really wound up about that. At least it wasn't the heavy tank, but we shouldn't have lost the light tank like that. That was just pitiful. I forgot as well that I put these two idiots on. Who are just fucking useless. He's got 61 attack. He's got 49 attack. I completely forgot that he, he was by himself holding down that flank. And then, yeah, they all charged him and he got surrounded and died. Died stupidly, unnecessarily. Oh well, whatever. We move on. He wasn't a named character, so it's not too bad. <laughs>